totally exaggerate them like a the teddy boy. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. No, you've got a record coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't no, it's laugh. Still expired, Ross. It's fabulous. That's all right. I'll just test. It's called Space Invaders. I was either going to yeah, buy that or the new one from Motorhead. You know, it's a, it's a toss -up. We're going to be hearing that a bit I later. Well, why did you decide you wanted to become a, a recording star? Money. Um, Money. <laughs> Money, yeah. Well, it was a hobby, actually. I don't know. It was suggested to him. We thought, well, let's, uh, let's have a go, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, really, it was. Well, well Russ, well, we've uh, talked in detail about your record. Um, I'm now, sure let's hear it. Here is the hear. new single from Russ Adam. What exactly is it called? Uh, the Space Invaders Meet the Purple People Eaters. We want to hear it, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. <laughs> I was playing this game, see, down a local pub. When someone came up to me, you know, he'd give me a shove. He had, like, two long arms sticking out of his ears. You know, uh, I thought I must have had too many beers, you know. It was a short, fat, green thing, just like a space and made a short. I've been there all night, and I spent all my doubt, and I still haven't got me on the second row. Yeah. I, took, I looked at the pig, you know, I heard him say, Man, I guess it's just eating today. I am a short, fat, green thing, you've got a fat and then a short, fat, green thing. What, you're a space invader? Short, fat, green thing. Blimey, it's a space invader. Ooh, looks strange to me. All right, um, there's a space in the bar, you go get the tricks, right? Two pints of lager and a packet of crisps. Um, Please. I said, hey, Mr. Space Invader, here, what's your game? I put all my money in, you know, and it's still the same. Now, he said, Don't stand there, wasting all your time. Come over here and have another lager and time. Blow me down, bought around. Funny little Space Invader. Drinks his beer through his ear. Funny little Space Invader. Uh, likes his phone, dirty joke. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Then the landlord came over and said, I'll give it a try. Now, you see, he had a long horn and one big eye. The little green thing said, It doesn't have feet. It looks like a purple people eater to me. It was a one-eyed, one-horn fly, purple people eater. One-eyed, one-horn fly, purple people eater. One-eyed, one-horn fly, purple people eater. What a sight to see. You put it through the shoes, eh? My mate said these were crepes, but I think they're all right. sentences were the names of four towns. We asked you to tell us what they were. Let's have a look at those sentences again. Can we possibly? Yes, there we are. Well, as last week, uh, we did show them to you in the wrong order. As usual. Be on, I'll show you. The again this week. Yes, just in case you missed last week's mistake, we're repeating it. <laughs> there we are. Number three, I'm thinking of buying a puppy or kitten. There you can see the uh, letters picked out in white, for those of you who haven't got black and white teeth, who haven't got colour, is York, is the first town. There we are, York. Zoo. The second sentence, or that should read the fourth sentence, is I love watching butterflies hovering over flowers. Hove is the one in there. And now let's go back to numbers one and two. Ooh. There we are, at the seaside. My daughter always tries to bury me. That was an easy one, bury. Yeah, easy. There you go. And number two, my mother likes to order by mail her Christmas presents. There you are, hidden in there is Derby. Let's find out who the three lucky winners are. Russ, would you like yes, to go sure. in there and pick out a card? Try to break in. I sure <laughs> will. <laughs> the first winner me. is <laughs> Susan Woolwork from 114 Green Meadows, West Thornton in Bolton, who's 10 years old. Well done, Brent Price is nine from Ruadine, uh, down there in the forest. Ruadine Ruadine in Gloucestershire. Uh, yes, well done, that's right. This Let's is from um, Piers Peacock, 46 Sharman Crescent, Braunston, Free. Uh, Lester. Great, super. Th those three people are extremely lucky because they're going to win Spitz Puppets, so we can see demonstrated by Spitz owner. Four Bucketeers LP already storming up the charts even as we speak. And later on you'll be hearing a track from that. Uh, and 
Cool him down. Cool him down. Cool him down. And they'll win Chiswell's t shirt. I'm a little bit worried about Chris. I do think he's gone completely mental. I mean, are you fit to carry on? No problem. Keep broadcasting. No it's your turn now. Oh, is it my turn? Let's yes. move on. Uh, this week's 8 and Overs competition, actually. You've seen last week's 8 and Overs competition. This week's 8 and Overs competition, very simple, actually. We want you to see... Be quiet. Quiet. Yes, yes, see how many words, of as many letters as you like, how many words can you make of uh, our rather peculiar spelling of 8 and over? A-T-E-S-N, don't worry about the apostrophes, A-T-E-S-N-O-V-E-R. Write it down, you should have it by now anyway, but write it down. Eight and over, how many words can you make out of that? And believe you me, it's ever such a lot. Yes, and you can't repeat the letters, actually. You can use the E, though, because it's in there twice. <laughs> anyway, entrance to our usual address, which is... New rules, eh? Okay. okay. That's right, tis was, ATV land, Birmingham, B1, 2JP, and postcards only, please. Right, uh, if nowadays you want to travel a long distance and get there fast, you'll probably go in a sleek, modern plane. But 50 years ago, you'd have gone in a, a very different sort of craft or airship. The airship has had a very chequered career, in some cases disastrous. And we've been sorting out some old film of different airships to show you. And one clip, I must tell you, because it shows a real disaster, you might find a little bit upsetting. But now here's Chris to tell you about the airship's history and why it's so important this week. If you've never seen an airship, they're long, sausage-shaped balloons that travel slowly through the air propelled by an engine. This one, the famous Graf Zeppelin, made its first transatlantic flight exactly 52 years ago this week, on October the 15th, 1928. But the story of airships started a long, long time before that. In fact, it started by accident with an ordinary balloon. Two French brothers called Montgolfier way back in the 1780s, were watching a fire when they suddenly realised that smoke always flowed upwards. By experimenting with large bags and smoky fires, they discovered that the hot air made the bag rise. In a simple way, the first hot air balloon was invented. This new form of transport was greeted with great excitement, and it soon developed into quite a sport. But the trouble with balloons was that they only went where the wind blew them. Amazing experiments were made to try and steer them. One flight of fantasy included harnessing bird power. A somewhat more realistic approach was to use extra sails and guide the balloon a bit like an ordinary sailing ship. More experiments were carried out until finally the airship was born. The major change, of course, was the shape, but also it could be steered from a control cabin under the ship by a pilot and crew. There were many different designs, but the most successful was the rigid airship, commonly called the Zeppelin. Its stiff hull was formed out of very light metal girders and covered outside with tightly stretched fabric. The framework itself was divided into a large number of compartments, each containing a bag filled with hydrogen gas to power the ship. The first airship was launched in southern Germany in 1900 and the Zeppelin company established the first commercial airline in the world. It had a fleet of five passenger airships that flew all over the world, testing their range and capabilities. All went well and the airship went from strength to strength, until in 1928 the transatlantic flights were started. Nowadays it takes about eight hours to get to America. An airship took about 65 hours. <laughs> 